Hello world, it's me, Ashley, from Washington's TTC Journey. Um, I'm back with an update. Sorry about me laying in bed. I'm really cramping and just doesn't feel good. Um, let's see, as I told y'all before, I had a appointment on October 3rd. I went in for the appointment and had a pap smear as well as a consultation with my um, GYN. She advised me to come back on the 17th for my um, results in reference to my hormone and thyroid test. Um, I didn't wait to the 17th. I called in on, I want to say it was the 9th. I called in on the 9th to see if I could possibly get um, my appointment moved up so that I could figure out exactly what's going on with my body, what the results were, um, and what steps, you know, did she have in mind to take next, being that our, um, my GYN does know that we're trying to conceive. Well, got there on the 11th at 9 o'clock in the morning and my results for my hormone and my thyroid test everything came back normal she said um, everything looked perfect in reference to my pap smear there was no inconsistencies like everything was working fine um, her biggest thing was she was not sure why I was not having a period so, the doctor advised me um, that I should take Provera. She gave me, hold on, I'll tell you what's the milligrams. Uh, give me a minute. 10 milligrams of um, hydroxyprogesterone acetate. And I have to take that for five days. Um, with me taking that, that's supposed to jumpstart my cycles. So that um, we can possibly get the ball rolling. Now, a little shocker that my GYN told me was that she wanted us to wait um, three to four months. And she was going to put me on birth control. The birth control that she put me on, which I will not be taking, is called um, microgestin. Um, oh, let me show y'all what it looks like. Microgestin. I don't know if y'all can see that. It only comes with three weeks worth of pills. Once you've taken those three weeks, you have to stop taking it for a week. And I'm assuming when the week that you're not taking the pills that your period is supposed to start. Um, once the week has passed, then you start taking the next um, prescription worth of microgestin. I've never heard of this. Um... She did lower the dosage because I told her when I am on my cycles, I do have um, fairly uh, heavy, like a fairly heavy flow. Um, she was like, well, I don't want you to have a heavy flow, you know, X, Y, Z. I was like, well, it really wouldn't phase me if it was heavy or not. I'd just be happy to see unflow flow point blank, period, like. She is missed dearly, like truly missed. Um, let's see. Um, well, she did tell us that she wanted us to wait um, about three to four months before we attempt to conceive again. I had the most devastating uh, look on my face. And my wife, of course, was just like, you know, and like, I don't even think she was paying attention. I think it was just like it went in one ear and out the next. Um, but I did talk to my sisters. 
and they advised me that they had taken Provera before, and um, Provera, for them, I think one took it for five, and I'm not sure what the other one took it for, I'm, I'm not sure, um, but they took it for five days, um, one actually started her second day in, um, and the other one, it was like right after, a couple of days after the five days were up. Um, the only thing that I have noticed while taking Provera is that you cramp. It's not intense cramping. It's very mild, but it's irritating to me, like irritating, point blank. I don't like it. I don't like cramps. I don't, mm -mm, not for me, but um, my wife and I have decided that we're going to take the Provera, um, being that Everything seems to be working. Um, my hormones are, you know, balanced. There's nothing wrong. Um, once my cycle comes on, I will not be using any OPKs. I will not be temping. I will not be doing any of that. We decided, I'm going to call this the Imani method, because <laughs> everybody seems to think this method is going to work. But the Imani method is three days after um, Aunt Flo has came and gone, um, you start in simming, in simming two times a week until Aunt Flo is due. Um, so once Aunt Flo gets here, comes and goes, I will be doing inseminations on Mondays and Thursdays. Um, when you're doing the inseminations, make sure that they're spaced apart. Um, Mondays and Thursdays, Mondays, Fridays, Mondays, uh, I wouldn't say Saturdays, but, because it's kind of close, but, you know, make sure you space them out further, you know, far enough so that, um, you, you leave, you know, the chance, you know, to catch, catch the bean, catch the baby, you know, um, I'm, I'm fairly confident that this will work. Um, because it's kind of like a, a fail-proof method, like, you can't go wrong. Um, I think I was doing some research, and they said the sperm lasts in the body from, I think, five to seven days. Um, so, I, I'm really saying, like, you really can't miss anything. Um, I'm still going to be taking my prenatals. I'm still going to be taking... Um, my multivitamin, I'm still going to be taking my iron, um, and anything, um, that will possibly, uh, aid me within this journey. Um, we still will be doing the at-home method, um, being that this is only our second time actually doing the insemination. Um, we'll be using um, the soft cup and syringe method. Um, th that that's fairly about it. I mean, it's pretty simple, straight to the point. Um, nothing has changed, um, other than you know my you know, just the anxiety level of of wanting to uh, actually attempt and try to get pregnant um I've, I've taken a couple months off you know just to see exactly if my period was going to come on um what was i going to do um, i really didn't feel like um, using a lot of ovulation predictor kits being that i do have pcos and i was not having a period um i, I really didn't feel like uh taking the time to actually you know pee on a stick all day, every day, just to see if I would catch ovulation. I feel like once I have a period, you know, everything will be, you know, A1. Every Everything's going to be okay. Um, I mean, we're, we're both to the point of, you know, we're just waiting on God to bless us, you know, when he sees fit, we're not rushing, you know, we're just taking, you know, our time, you know, and I, I 
feel like things are pretty much playing out, you know, how they're supposed to play out um, for my wife and I, for my sisters, you know, and other, you know, friends that I've made during, you know, this journey. Um, and, I, I, you know, I'm enjoying it. it it's, it's a learning process. And I wouldn't, you know, change anything that I've, you know, learned, any people that I've come across, you know. It, it, it's it's really an eye-opening experience, and I'm just so grateful to have that experience, you know, during, you know, this, this very trying time. Um, I'm still watching everybody's videos. Um, I'm, you know, enjoying, you know, seeing, you know, people, you know, getting positive news or even with them getting negative news, you know, still remaining positive. Always keep faith, remain hopeful. Um, when it's time, it will happen. Um, as of right now, I'm rambling, but I look forward to having an update, um, pretty soon with some type of information that I could provide for y'all. Um, that's about it. Um, please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Um, and have a blessed day. Bye.